hey guys welcome back to next gen blogger and in this video i want to show you how to model a hammer in blender now it's actually super easy to model a hammer in blender so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now to start off first you need to add a cube so go to the add menu go to mesh and now select this option that is cube next what we are going to do is we will first model the head of the hammer and so to do that you need to go to the edit mode and now select the face selection mode and now select this face of the cube next you need to extrude this face by 0 0.306 meters next scale this face by 0. 704 meters next extrude this face once again by 0 0.318 meters next extrude the face once again by 0 0.305 meters all right next what you need to do is you need to scale this face by 1.5 508 meters all right now let's zoom in like this next what you need to do is you need to add two horizontal loop cuts and two vertical loop cuts so press ctrl r and bring your cursor on top of the cube like this so this is a vertical loop cut we need two such vertical loop cuts so enter the value 2 and now press enter twice now press ctrl r once again and bring your cursor on top of the cube so this is a horizontal loop cut and we need two such horizontal loop cuts so enter the value 2 and press enter twice once again all right now select the face selection mode and select all these nine faces like this now what we are going to do is we will dissolve all these nine faces into a single face so after selecting all the nine faces right click and now select this option that is dissolve faces next you need to go to the mesh menu and now go to transform and now select this option that is to sphere now enter the value 1 and now press enter next what you need to do is you need to extrude this face by 1.906 meters next you need to bevel this face so press ctrl b and now directly enter the value 0 0.204 meters okay next what you need to do is you need to go to the other side like this now select all the nine faces which are present right here and now you need to extrude all these nine faces by 0 0.303 meters next you need to scale all these nine faces by 0 0.501 meters next extrude all these nine faces once again by 0 0.312 meters next extrude all these nine faces once again by 0 0.303 meters all right next scale all these nine faces by 1.401 meters and now extrude all these nine faces by 1.700 meters all right now what you need to do next is you need to add 
two loop cuts. So let me press the number three and this will give me the side view. Now you need to add two loop cuts right here. So press Ctrl R and bring your cursor right here. Now enter the value two and now press enter twice. Next, you need to select this entire cube. Okay. And to do that, let me turn on the X-ray mode. And now let me select this entire cube right here. And now go to the mesh menu, go to transform and now select this option that is two sphere. Now enter the value one and now press enter. Now let's deselect everything. Next, what you need to do is you need to select this particular ring of edges. So to do that, press the Alt key and select an edge like this. And this is going to select all the edges in this particular ring. And now you need to scale all these edges along the Y axis by zero meters. Now move all these edges along the Y axis by 0 0.344 meters. Next, we are going to select this ring of edges. So to do that, press the Alt key and select an edge. And this is going to select the entire ring of edges. Now scale all these edges along the Y axis by 0 meters. Now move all these edges along the Y axis by 0 0.597 meters. All right. Next, what you need to do is you need to select this entire sphere right here. And now you need to move this entire sphere along the Y axis by negative 0 0.797 meters. All right. Now let's turn off the X-ray mode. And now let's add the subdivision surface modifier. So go to the modifiers tab, click on add modifier and inside generate, select the subdivision surface modifier. Now increase the value inside levels viewport from 1 to 3 and inside render from 2 to 3. Next, what we are going to do is we will add loop cuts to sharpen edges. So the first edge that I want to sharpen is this one right here. Okay. And so we are going to add two loop cuts, one on the right side of this edge and another one on the left side of this edge. So let's start. So press Ctrl R and add a loop cut right here. Now place this loop cut in this particular position. Now press Ctrl R once again and add a loop cut right here. Now place this loop cut in this particular position. All right. Now I would like to do the same with this particular edge right here. So let me zoom in like this. Now press Ctrl R and add a loop cut right here. Now place this loop cut in this particular position. Now press Ctrl R and add a loop cut right here. Now place this loop cut in this particular position. All right. Next, what you need to do is you need to add a loop cut on the right side of this edge. So to do that, press Ctrl R and add a loop cut right here. Now place this loop cut in this particular position. Okay. Next, select the face selection mode. And now you need to select this particular face right here. Okay. Now we are going to create two insets. So press the letter I 
and create the first inset. Now enter the value 0 0.014304 and now press enter. Now let's create the second inset. So press the letter I once again and this time enter the value 0 0.014. 0.014417 and now press enter once again. Next, what you need to do is you need to add two loop cuts right at the center of the hammer. So press Ctrl R and bring your cursor right here. Now enter the value 2 and now press enter twice. Next, you need to scale these two loop cuts along the z axis by 1.209 meters next you need to put a hole through the center and so to do that first select the face selection mode and now select the top middle face like this now press the shift key and select the bottom middle face like this and now what you need to do is you need to scale these two faces along the y-axis by 2.005 meters next go to the edge menu and now select this option that is bridge edge loops next what you need to do is you need to create an inset. So press the letter I and now press enter. Next, what you need to do is you need to select all the nine faces which are present right here. And now you need to create two insets. So press the letter I and now enter the value 0 0.009574 meters. And now let's create the second inset. So press the letter I once again and this time enter the value 0 0.014240 meters. Now let's go to the other side. Now select all the nine faces which are present right here. And now we are going to repeat the process. So we are going to add two insets right here as well. So press the letter I and now enter the value 0 0.019556 meters. Now let's add the second inset. So press the letter I and now enter the value 0 0.011868 meters. All right. Now let's go back to object mode and now let's apply shade smooth. So go to the object menu and select this option that is shade smooth okay now we are done modeling the head of the hammer now let's start modeling the handle of the hammer okay and so to do that you need to first of all add a cylinder so go to the add menu go to mesh and now select this option that is cylinder now you need to scale this cylinder along the z-axis by 9 meters. Next, you need to add the subdivision surface modifier. So, go to the modifiers tab, click on add modifier and inside generate, select the subdivision surface modifier. Now, increase the value inside levels viewport from 1 to 3 and inside render from 2 to 3. Now, go back to the edit mode. Next, what you need to do is you need to add six loop cuts. So, press Ctrl R and bring your cursor on top of the cylinder and now enter the value six and now press enter twice. Next, select the face selection mode and now select the top face of the cylinder like this. Now, you need to create an inset. So, press the letter I and now enter the value 0 0.023773 meters. Now, create another inset. So, press the letter I once again and enter the value 0 
0.031202 meters. Next, press the letter A and this will select the entire cylinder. Now, you need to scale this cylinder along the x-axis by 0.709 meters. Next, you need to move this cylinder along the z-axis by negative 7.757 meters. Alright, now let me zoom in like this. Now, let's move this cylinder a little bit once again along the z-axis by negative 0.04922 meters. Now, enable the x-ray mode. And now, you need to select the top portion of the handle. Now, disable the x-ray mode. Next, press the number 7 and this will give you the top view. Now, scale the cylinder along the y-axis by 0.6147 meters. Now, scale the cylinder along the x-axis by 0.4519 meters. Next, press the number 3 and this will give you the side view. And now, enable the x-ray mode. And now, you need to add a loop cut right here to sharpen the bottom edge of this selected portion. So, press Ctrl R and add a loop cut right here. Now, place this loop cut in this particular position. Next, select the edge which is present right here. And now, move this edge along the z-axis by 0.941 meters. Next, select this edge which is present right here. And now, scale this edge by 0.518 meters. Next, move this edge along the z-axis by 1.552 meters. Next, what you need to do is, you need to select this edge which is present right here. And now, you need to move this edge along the z-axis by 1.105 meters. Next, you need to select the bottom edge which is present right here. And now, you need to scale this edge by 1.2120 meters. Now, extrude this edge by 0.7955 meters. Now, create an inset by 0.007786 meters. Now, create another inset by 0.014754 meters. Next, you need to add a loop cut to sharpen this particular edge right here. So, press Ctrl R and add a loop cut right here. Now, place this loop cut in this particular position. Finally, disable the X-ray mode and now you can go to the object mode. And that's it. This is how you can model a hammer in Blender. So, that's it guys. This is how you can model a hammer in Blender. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.